Market Wheel, yeah, yeah. Market Wheel, yeah, yeah. It's the Market Wheel Show. It's the Market Wheel Show. Money to Friday player. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Market Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, play. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another great episode of the Mark and Will Show. And of course, you got your favorite two hosts of the most, Mark and Will. What's going on, my brother? Turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. <laughs> that's what. I, that's what's been going on. Strictly <laughs> turbulence. But that's that's okay, right? I mean, it is it's what not. it is. Yeah, we, we we get through turbulence. You know, that's that's how it goes. But other than that, man, you know, it is what it is. What's going on with you, man? Ah, chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. How was uh, uh, Father's Day for you? Ah, it was cool, man. It was it was, it was cool. Laid back like I needed it. I know that's <laughs> it was right. Pretty cool. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Without a doubt, right. for real. That back was a work day. The, back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. Longest day ever. Ain't that what they say? Longest day mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, no. man. It's something though, but it is it's it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> glad to be back on. Uh, hope everybody enjoy themselves as far as um, celebrating Juneteenth and Father's Day. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, that good stuff. That good stuff. Right. I tell you what, though, I went to Top Golf for the first time. That was fun, man. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> that was fun. Even though I got tricked, I was, you know, you know, I don't mess with heights, but of course, the bay was three twenty six. On the third floor. On the third floor. <laughs> I couldn't even get no swing in. I'm up for it. Like, man, I'm using straight fo- Like, you can imagine my forearms and stuff is, like, so just sore. You know, two hours, we up there swinging and stuff, and I can't get into it because... You know, I'm thinking if I go ahead and try to knock it out, man, I'm gonna be that net ain't, one over that, the edge. That net is nothing but like three feet. That net, that net is garbage, man. I'm like, man, you know, you can't get the charge. Well, here, um, Ron and Travis is clap, clap, clap. I'm like, man, hey, next time we go, I'm gonna have to be on that, that on that uh, uh first level. Yeah, I can do two. That third, man, I don't know, you know. That third kind of high. Yeah, after some of that, my uh. uh a dub beverage, you know, you kind of loosen uh, up. So yeah. then you really have to <laughs> slow it down. Right? So, hey, it is what it is. But right. had a great time with that. So that was fun for real, for real. Let's see. Got a oop, look, look, we done brought her out quick. <laughs> but we're going to X out right there. We're going to X out right there. <laughs> it's, this is the type of show y'all getting today, baby. It's raw and uncut without a doubt. So let me tell you guys, this is where you're going to find us, right? Mark and Will Show. Everything mm. I don't X out and then closed out completely out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, it's still brought in there. Hold on, still brought in, and we gonna keep you right here. So, look, this is where you're gonna find us Mark and Will show TikTok, Facebook, all that stuff, right? Instagram, make sure we got the Players Club group that's banging, there's voting going on. If you did not know, we got the Ace Award basically for the pitchers of softball mm-hmm. and baseball. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to really, really dive into that uh, after the interview because there's some stuff that needs to be said, and I'm going to say it like I do. So make sure you go ahead and, and um, follow us, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So. Now watch this. Let's see. There she is. Look, y'all already know. We kind of spoiled it already. We done did 20 takes, all kinds of stuff. So, hey, we got Jessica home with Jessica Jizzy. And the thing about it is, if you recall, she was on the show last year several times, and she knocked yep. it out of the park. So how are you doing, Jessica? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me back, Mark and Will. No problem. We had you on seven times already today. So, you know, it's all good. Oh, it is. It's, it's all good. And one of the reasons why we wanted to bring you on, because a lot of times, you know, um, you know, 
the first show and stuff was on YouTube. Great. We still do YouTube, without a doubt. But uh, we're on a different platform now uh, with Facebook. We really cater a lot of to Facebook and still YouTube. But uh, different audience. And a lot of times, you know, uh, well, our awards is on uh, the Facebook. So sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, they saw, you know, sponsored by Jazzy with Jizzy. So thought it was a great opportunity to talk about your website, talk about, you know, what it offers and all this kind of stuff. So uh, let's get right into it. Explain to everybody what is Jazzy with Jizzy. Um, well, Jazzy with Jazzy mm-hmm. is basically a natural way of improving your health. And so a lot of times we are um, control of what we can do. And that's basically just focusing on what you can control. And the ones that are out of control, you just got to just navigate through those things the best way you can. And so in, on Jazzy with Jazzy, I talk about with other experts in certain areas about financial wealth, mental and nutrition. Mm-hmm. So... How did this come about? Well, 10 years ago, it it started with uh, a mental expression about like how you live and how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. And and it's basically like, you know, people love to be jazzy. People love to be sexy. Right. And and those spaces are your own. And it really is how you see yourself. And we promote that positive thinking as well as um, give you tools to kind of maintain it. And so from there, uh, I basically was just talking to myself. You know, it was a mantra of me trying to get back to my best self physically. And I was a new mom around that time. Uh, Maybe not too new, but she was still, uh, she was barely barely 10. Mm -hmm. But at that, that was a space where I can like uh, focus on myself a little more because she was becoming a little more independent. And so because of that, I was able to focus on my wellness, the, the food, my intake. And that was the start of a journey that um, has progressed until today. So, you know, you have to go to the website. I mean, it's real tough. You know what I'm saying? Jesse with com. So right now, you know, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at wellness. You got a lot of stuff out there as far as, you know, on the website. So is it, with, when you're talking about the wellness tab, are you like offering this different thing, suggestion or, or you know, what is, what is the wellness tab? Right. So it, this, this platform actually really grew during the COVID year. So 2020, 21, 22. And, um, and I knew that I needed to collaborate with other people. I didn't just want my opinion to be out there, right? Because everyone has different ways of achieving wellness and maintaining it. Mm-hmm. And um, and I wanted this to be a perspective from youth as well as, you know, people in their 30s, 40s to seniors. And um, and you'll also notice that I'm also pushing uh, black businesses at the same time. So that's that financial piece where it's like, OK, um, for example, wellness when when it comes to finances, you know, many times in my circle of friends, we're not talking about budgeting or even what we're going to look like when it's time to retire or if we even, we don't really talk about retirement and what it takes to even save. It's almost like we do talk about spending and what we're going to do, you know, going on trips, happy hour, those kind mm-hmm. of things, um, which are all fine and good and very necessary. Um, I just was not in those conversations where you're talking about investment. So even when I, reached out to Mr. Orlando. You remember Orlando Allen? Yes, sir. Um, he's the one that um, I thankfully still know really well, him and his wife. He's been coaching me on terms and different things to where I'm not intimidating anymore. And so once I started learning those uh, termino- the terms and different ways to save um, outside of the bank, uh, mm-hmm. it those conversations with friends that I know that wanted to talk about saving or didn't know the first steps, it just made it a little easier to talk about it without any shame, without any kind of like, um, you know, cause it's all a learning. It's all learning. Right. And I tell you know, each time, like, let's go over what you taught me. And then that kind of thing. But anyway, it's all wellness. So when, once your finances are well, mm-hmm. you can kind of move on to other stages. 
with of your wellness and it's an ongoing cycle right. so the stories talk about nutrition you know um, there's another woman on there named jessica that has plant-based uh, meals throughout the spring and summer i have a gym coach that talks about different exercises uh, that i used back in the day so it just varies there's also uh, there's a couple gentlemen that I have that talk about their wellness regime, even like the setbacks, because we all have setbacks. Right. And so mm-hmm. just talking about that and being OK with it and also uh, getting back on the uh, right track kind of stuff. So I feel like I'm rambling, but it's no, a lot. You're good. You're good. Because the thing about it is, because like you said, you know, wellness, healthy, because I like how you incorporate like finance, because, you know, you definitely got to have that taken care of uh, without a doubt. Um, and it's different ways and different uh, levels of that, you know. Um, and I like how on your on your website, how you break it down and 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 that kind of stuff. So was it hard to? And I know, uh, shout out Orlando, what's going on? Uh, yeah. Was it hard to like uh, come up with different um, uh, financial top like to to make it fit into this website? Uh, no, because I figured uh, I'm just. Um, I'm writing about my journey, right? And mm-hmm. so each time I'm with Orlando, he gives me, it started off with a wish list. Where do you want to be in 15 years? Like, mm-hmm. and when he talked about vacations, right? He he made me think bigger. It was like, no, I'm talking about 30 day vacations. So I was like, wow, I only really <laughs> did like two weeks, right? right? Or a week or something like that, or spaced it out. And so we created a wish list and now it was like, how do we get to it? And then, um, and that was different ways of pulling money from even the 401k at work, like adding more money into that deposit, um, actually p- investing in him, trusting him. Cause that's a big thing too. You know, you like, okay, you know, I'm gonna give you my money. Are you going to run away with it? You know, it's just right. really, it's a trust based situation and you're very, very vulnerable too, you know? Um, and then from there is estate planning. And so it gets a little eerie because now you're talking about when you're dead and how you want people to manage the money that you left them and they can do it any kind of way they want. But, you know, I do have a will, a living will in place, and I just hope that they follow some of my wishes, which is basically give it to uh, my loved ones, you know, my children and their children. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, that's that's real talk because, you know, uh, a lot of people do not, you know, look past a certain things or look forward into the future. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely good, especially with that. Nutrition, nutrition. Let's 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 get to that. Because a lot of people like like you don't hit on finance and all that kind of stuff, which is definitely true. But there are a lot of people think about healthy choices, healthy lifestyle, stuff like that, straight with nutrition. So how do you you know, is this stuff that you tried that's on your website or like, you know, how do you, I'm seeing seven day raw food cleanse, uh, yeah. braised red cap. I'm seeing all kinds of look, recipes and things like that. So how did that get there? So it started right, right before COVID. I have a cousin, uh, Peter and Sean, they are, they're a married couple. They are vegan. And so every time we're together with always a holiday or a weekend, if they can corner at least four or five people, they're going to talk about their, um, their results. Mm -hmm. And so I can, if you go on the website, you'll see the green goddess. And that's where I heard Petey, I call him Petey, him talking about his soup and what he put in it, different herbs and different vegetables that he liked. And so I was start. he said, you can make it your own. You know, at first I was like, okay, well tell me what you put in. He was like, no, no, no tailored to what you got, you know, what you like. So, you know, and so that soup I've been making since 2019. And um, yes, it's it's not hard because if you're listening to your body and you're, you're and your body will tell you if it's working or not. And you'll find out where certain things you're allergic to or not, or, or, or certain things are working. So, um, and then with COVID, going back to COVID, you know, it was, we're finding ways, I was finding ways to still connect with people. And I have a good friend that's from Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, and we would cook on Sundays, call each other up on Where FaceTime. Where's that at? So it's it's near Asia. It's Asia. It's it, it's an Asian country. Okay. And if you can remember, probably 
maybe 15 years ago, there was a tsunami that hit that island. Mm -hmm. And so my friend Delu loves spices and, and different herbs and things like that. So he got me growing herbs and we just talked about different seasonings. Uh, we went to like a couple grocery stores on Third Street going towards Iroquois, you know, mm -hmm. it's not your average Kroger. So he just exposed me to a lot of things and then we would go back and cook. And it was just a way to connect and still have a good time. We had wine, we had food. Um, Gotta have some of that red. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's, I mean, I have to relate it back to this book I just finished and I'm really excited about it. It's called Freedom Dreams and it's, um, it's the black radical imagination. And it just talks about um, communicating, disagreeing, and just starting in a space of love and imagination. And so there was a line in there that he, there was several lines. And this author's name is Robin D.G. Kelly. And I often go back and read some of the things. I really like how he breaks down different movements throughout, you know, since we've been on this planet, well, in this country. Um, Black, the black movement. And one of the lines that sticks to me or has stuck in, stuck with me is moving to the rhythms of a new song. And so that's basically what COVID brought to me. Mm. And with COVID, I enjoyed the stillness. I was listening to my um, reflecting, you know, exercising, being creative. And so everything was just working, working really well. So that's where that content, friends were reaching out, calling. I was writing letters, literally writing letters to people, um, just checking in on them, thanking them for some of the things that uh, got me through some things during the pandemic. Um, uh, so because of that, people would call and check up on me and then they would talk about they've been writing. And that's how it started, Will. You know, it was mm -hmm. like, okay, what do you got? And so people would share their thoughts. And then I was like, well, let's collaborate. You can live on my space and hopefully we can provide some, you know, really good tricks and tips. We didn't get no letter. Uh, <laughs> let me see. So, um, no, you got other things. I was sending referrals. <laughs> yeah. We're referrals and you, you joined us on the show too. So yes, yes, yes. And you continue to send, uh, referrals and things. So we appreciate that without a doubt. So, Jazz it up. Now, this is a, okay. for resources. Resources. And, Mark, I don't know if you own her, but as I clicked on it, mm -hmm. I think we done made it big time, man. I, I think <laughs> I, we own her, bro. We own her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank yes, you. you we, yes. Yes. So talk, talk, let's talk about some of these resources. Let's talk about the resources. And so it, it ranges, right, to psychology, mm -hmm. to sports and conversation, to uh, lawn care, to just in fashion, business, uh, finances. So basically all of those people in there are black owned mm -hmm. for the most part. It's black and brown people. And I felt like the resources is something that that that's ongoing people are going to need it all the time you see the therapist right on i mm -hmm. love my therapist she's first or you know she's right up at the top and just basically those folks that are in jazz it up some way connect to the blogs that are you know throughout the site right right that's cool guys you got to check it out we'll definitely you know you'll definitely see the name as one of the sponsors of the awards and stuff like that uh you know, this is this is a wonderful website, so you got to, and like I said, you can go back and see uh, Jessica's sports uh, journey and, and different stuff like that. I had a great interview with her. Um, any, if you could give any tip, any 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 advice, or uh, um, dealing with the wellness and 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 stuff like that, what would it be? I would say because this is a sports show, I would say my foundation is definitely sports and growing up playing, being on a team, leading a team, you know, working with a team to, to win as much as possible. And then also, you know, it gets you ready for the real world, right? You, you go you finish school, hopefully whatever kind of school or learning trade that you get to, you're, you're, and you find yourself in a working place, you got to work with people or manage situations and so that is still team that's a foundation of a team right? right and i would just say that 
and everyone gets to like ebb and flow, like grow and their setbacks and just try to just keep encouraging folks. That's what I would say. And then just, um, I do appreciate you all for me on the platform. Um, I, I'm, I'm honored to grow with you all, you know, right, we were right, here last right, year right. and with me being in sports, being the sponsor of the player of the game, player of the week. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know you use yes. acronyms and things. I want to yes, say that yes. right. Yes. Uh, yes. It just, it really speaks to who I am. You know, that's my foundation. And just, you know, um, and even the, the website reflects that too. So I, I'm collaborating with just regular Joes, experts to share, you know, what they know. And famous people like the Mark and Will show. Exactly. So, uh, you know, all that good exactly. stuff. Nah, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Um, look, like I said, go ahead and check the interview that we've done with her. And she's been on several shows. Jessica, I want to thank you. Uh, real quick, what high school did you go to? I went to the Mel. <laughs> the Louisville Mel Traditional High School. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just, I Brook just, and Breck, Brook and Breck and, uh, off of Breck. yes, yes, yes. But th hey, thank you, Jessica, for joining us. We know that you are very busy. We really Why are appreciate you. Laughing, Mark? What's wrong? Because he threw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. But, no, uh, thank you, Jessica, for joining us. We really appreciate you, and I'm sure we will see you again. Yes, ma'am. I look forward to it. Hi, right, bye. Hi. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's go into it. Let's get into it. Uh, all right, so let's let's do this way. Let's go F and C. Let's do some of that. Make sure you guys, you get a chance to go ahead and um, got to drop that. It's on the page, so make sure you look at that. Uh, uh, F and C had a great show with that one, so please, please, please. Subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Um, gaming, I know Mark's been doing some stuff with that. What you got on gaming, Mark? Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's great to go down. Uh, my son bought me WWE twenty three for Father's Day, so okay. I'm very really digging that. So <laughs> I'm great digging that. So that's what y'all be seeing on streaming for a little while out here, so I can get used to that, so I can stop getting beat up. Because all night Sunday I was getting killed. <laughs> lord 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 let's go since you said that uh let's go let's go on and hit that wrestling man what's going on in the wrestling world i know it was some some big that happened because i seen everybody uh tweeting about it and, and stuff like that uh friday night smackdown uh the bloodline is no more the bloodline which people don't know roman range and the usos which is also family in real life the Usos turned on them. Now it's Roman Reigns just by itself. But as big as that family is, they're gonna bring more wrestlers in. So it don't matter. They, right. they that's a big family, man. So they're gonna keep bringing them in. But tune in because SmackDown is getting good. I'm I'm starting to be disappointed in Raw. SmackDown is getting a little, little oh, too wow. <laughs> wow. God wow. bless you guys still tuned in and watch it. <laughs> no, that's right. What he said. All right, let me get to this real quick. Uh High school. We 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 hit a little bit about it uh, when we first start the show. This you know about the polls and and, and things like that. Um, okay, there we go. So we got the polls. We got the pictures, baseball and softball. This is for all the people on Twitter. You're not gonna see every name listed at once. On Twitter, you can only do four at a time. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, the, the 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 players club, they know that. They pretty much know that. But on Twitter, <laughs> you know, you got some people who, you know, I, I knew that Mark and Will has made it. When I'm not going to say this certain guy decided to basically wanted to argue this morning about uh, a player not being on the poll. Because he didn't do his work. He he didn't do his work, so he assumed that the four young ladies, uh, student athletes, was the only four. Um, it's okay to admit that you're wrong in life. It's okay to say, hey, I apologize. I was wrong. 
Of course, this guy, he didn't. He wanted to uh, argue all morning long and started talking about, um, well, um, if if this player don't win, then it's a popularity contest. Let me tell you something. Everybody we put on these polls, we consider be the ace. Yeah. We don't put Will on there who was two and six, uh, five, you know, 5.09 ERA, all that kind of stuff. No, you know, granted, we have some players on that poll that has won awards. Big time. Big time. But for the Mark and Will show, we're going to do what we do and how we do it. And also, if you don't like the way we do it, I mean, hey, Twitter Nation, you don't have to follow Mark and Will. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not a problem. That doesn't hurt our feelings because our our job right now is to get this recognition out for these kiddos, not for these grown men that's sitting at home with nothing else to do. Uh, mm. Not with with mm. when when you lose the little argument, you have to go ahead and say, well, like national player of the year, uh, nobody from outside. You know what? Let me let me break this down. I'm not gonna say this too many times. The <laughs> national player of the year when we did it. It's because we fit, we fit, uh, we felt that that person that got nominated won deserved recognition from everybody in the national. You know what I'm saying in all the different yeah. states, represent Kentucky basically, right? So baseball, softball has not had that, you know, and it, and it is what it is. But all I got to say is Twitter, Twitter world, Twitter spur. This come on our page, you'll see everything. <laughs> Even had a a, a, a coach uh, uh, try to chime in and then re- try to recant it, and it's like I saw that, Too you late. know, yeah, and, and still didn't. I mean, let me tell you guys, it's okay to apologize when you're wrong. It's okay to disagree who we nominate. That's fine. That's okay. Your little nephew may not be on her. Your niece. Whatever that's not saying they're not good, but this is what we're saying. This is who we are recognizing, <laughs> and we're not just going to put four people on earth to make it easy for you. That's what uh, the the uh, one of the Twitter uh, sit in the sit in the corner guy sit in the corner guy wants to go ahead and, and say, "Well, they're making a four. no, no. This is the Mark and Will show. We're gonna do what we do. <laughs> you do what you do and say who got offers from uh, schools. That's what you do." Let us, you stay in your lane, we stay in our lane. And the thing about it is, ain't nobody rocking interviews like us either. Many people try to. Many people try to. They uh, own sports show and do what they want. Do your own. Unfollow, please. (laughs) Because it's not going to stop us. It's not going to stop us. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. What's up, Coach? How you doing? I know you ready. I know you grinding. I know you getting ready. (laughs) Hey, Coach. Hey. You're not the only one who's wrong all the time. A lot of people are, but they won't admit it. So, mm-hmm. you know, man, I was like, it's too early in the morning for that, bro. It's too much <laughs> early in the morning. I'm like, I got no time. And you know me, I'm biting. I'm biting. I'm biting. I'm like, okay. All right, that's cool. So, you know, this shoe away, fly. We're going to do what we do. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's get into some baseball scores, man. <laughs> It's y'all with the Monday scores yesterday, June 19th. You had the Cubs who beat Pittsburgh 8 0. Red Sox beat the Twins 9 3. St. Louis Cardinals beat the Nationals 8 6. KC lose to Detroit 6 4. Miami beat Blue Jays 11 to zip. Mm. Reds beat the Rockies 5 4. Diamondbacks beat the Brewers 9 1. Mets beat Houston 11 to 1. Wow. Wow. Texas beat the White Sox 5 to 2. And last but not least, the Giants beat the Padres 7-4. Then you got games that's going on today, Tuesday, June 20th. You got ATL, who's on right now, up on Philly, 2-1. to one. You got Chicago Cubs beat Pittsburgh 2-0. Red Sox is up uh, beating the Twins 2-0. You got uh, the Dodgers and Angels come on later on. You got Baltimore, who beat Tampa Bay earlier, 7-3. to three. No, it's actually on right now. Okay, I see. It's on right now. Then you got KC that's up on Detroit, one nothing. You got Blue Jays up on Miami, 2 nothing. Yankees is up on Seattle, 3-1. to one. Cardinals is up on Nationals, 5-1. to one. 
Rockies is losing to the Red Sox 5 to 2. A's is beating the Guardians 1 0. Diamondbacks is up on Milwaukee 4 to nothing. Mets and Houston 0 0. White Sox in Texas. White Sox is up 2 0. And then uh, tonight's game, Giants and Padres. Woo woo. So right now in the standings, where we got American League East. And you write about that coach, the Reds. Hey, they, 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 they trying to do something. They trying to do something, you know, without a doubt. Let's see if they can stick with it, though. You know, that's the whole thing, right. longevity. So right now, American League East, you got the Rays with a five-game lead over the Orioles. They got a, a whopping record of fifty-one and twenty-four, taking care of business in the Central. You got the Twins with a two-game lead over the Guardians. In the West, you have the Rangers with a five-game lead over the Angels. In the National League East, you got the Braves with only a four and a half lead over the Marlins. The Marlins still doing their thing. I hear you. In the Central, you got the Reds that on the radio. <laughs> half game lead over the Brewers. 38-35. Is it De La Cruz time? Is it De La Cruz time? He's doing <laughs> this stuff. The West, you got the Diamondbacks with a three and a half lead over the Giants. That is... Is the scoreboard by to do today by Jazzy with Jizzy? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's shoot with uh, WNBA. Was anything WNBA stuff? WBA. Yes, yes, yes. You got the Wings the Dream that's on right now. The Wings is up twenty six to twenty three. You got uh, to come on at ten o'clock. You got Minnesota and LA, and then you got another game to come on at ten o'clock on NBA TV, which is the Suns and Storm. All right, so right now in the standings, we have the Aces 10 and 1. 10 and 1. 10 and 1. Number two, Connecticut Suns, 9 and 3. Number three, New York Liberty, 7 and 3. Number four, Washington Mystics, 7 and 4. The Atlantic Dream in the fifth place, 5 and 5. Sixth place, you got the Sparks, 5 and 6. Seventh place, you got Dallas Wings, 5 and 6. Eighth place, you got Chicago Sky, 5 and 7. Bottom four, Indiana Fever, Seattle Stars, Minnesota Lynx, and the last, and it's crazy because I thought I'd never see this, Phoenix Mercury, man, two and eight. <laughs> right. I mean, what is going on with right. that? Because, I mean, is Tarashi not playing and and, and 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 BG ain't playing? I mean, what's going bad on? Year. Bad year, bad yeah, year. Yeah, too much talent to be, you know what I'm saying, like that. So, I don't know what's going on. So, hey, we will see. We rock and roll with that one. So let's go. Let's go. We're going to just get some NBA and uh, let me see. Let me get in there. So, Mark, what are you, and this is not one of the things, but I want to ask you how you feel about them nuggets, man. How you feel about them nuggets? Hey, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> hey, congratulations to him <laughs> for winning it all. But Joker just made me love him even more, dude. Joker is just one of them cats to where it's like, okay, I got a championship. I just want to go home to my horses. Right. <laughs> he's just so laid back, yeah, nonchalant, good. don't care. Hey, man, I just trying to get home, man. All right, we, we did it. And then I respect him more, too, because he was the only Denver Nugget to actually, you know what I'm saying, dap everybody up right after the whistle and stuff was blown or whatever. I, res I respect him for that. But dude's just different. The Nuggets, though, I see them repeating. They could, but. Nah, they in the take West. Go take they in the West. <laughs> they're gonna take more. They're gonna have to load up that that chamber for real, for real. They're gonna have to do some stuff. But you just never know injuries and all kinds of stuff. You just yeah. never, never know what could happen. And uh, you right, dude, ready to get back home. I can't blame him. But also, I saw when he was in Vegas after they after they told him he couldn't he couldn't go home. Dude was shaking. He was doing a station <laughs> leg. Yeah. He turned up. Had his drinks and everything. <laughs> but no one turned up like they coach at that yeah, parade. He, yeah. Woo! Did he pull a Kirk Cousins? Hey, dude. Hey, let he me tell you. He had the chain on and everything. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. I'm going to tell you the truth. I like him. But if you don't make it next year, you know what they happen to Ooh. you know what happened to coaches at the championships. Ooh. They'll go back at next year. They're done done. <laughs> we, I, I was like, is that the coach? Hey, like I've never seen a coach. Going shots, that, everything. That, Jabs. Ooh. Man, he he had the swag that I ain't never seen the coach have. Like his swag, well, I thought hey, he was a player. He's different. I said, is that the oh man, he was and he was like Keith Sweat says, twisted. Yeah. He was twisted. So, hey, congratulations, Denver Nuggets. You guys did your thing. Uh, let me get that back up. Boom. 
Jordan, 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 man. Flu game sneakers sold for $1.38 million. Uh, I mean, so I'm just I'm, I'm doing just, that. I'm gonna just go by the retros. I'm just go by the retros, put them in the box, and just say they were the flu game shoes. Because you can't wear those. I'm not paying on one. You can't no. wear those. Like, I, I hope his name, right. I hope his autograph is all on that shoe. Like, it better be. A million times because that's when you have too much money. Yeah. And I mean, I get you a fan, but you can't be that much of a fan. 1.38 mil. Wow. She could have got, wouldn't got a replica. Well, and then you got the, <laughs> yeah, but then you got to prove to me that those were the shoes. Did you get right. them from Jordan? Like, where exactly. you get that from? Where did they come from? Yeah. Like, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Good one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Ugh. Garinari, everybody forgot about him. Small Ford out in for next year. Yeah. You know, he got hurt early because truthfully, yeah, I'm not saying that um, he would have made a difference, but he would have been impactful enough. Another Heck scoring, yeah. another scoring at option at 6'9", 6'10". <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He could be small ball, uh, power forward type stuff. So, Wow, I forgot that he was even on the team. I mean, granted, because he was hurt, I, I forgot he was even on the roster. Yeah, I, hey, you ain't the only one. <laughs> you ain't the only one. Cause like yeah, he was on the team. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, that's more scoring that you would have had. Yeah, that they needed pressure off everybody else. Yep, right. You needed. You need to get rid of some of that other stuff that's going on. But hey, I hear you. I hear you. Plus, he's probably getting he's probably getting paid twenty some million. They better opt in. Uh, yeah. Coming off an injury. Yeah. yeah. What you said? Yeah. Why? Why am I opting out? <laughs> right. Our favorite guy, McGregor, accused of sexual assault at an NBA game. When are you gonna learn? Like, not just him. I'm just saying. Period. You just can't period. Be touching. You can't be touching, yeah. grabbing, doing things, force, doing all kinds of like Jackson, Mahomes. You can't do all that stuff. You can't do none of that stuff because. There's a camera, and everybody is recording and all this kind of stuff. And this could be, you know, this grab the honest, rub the shoulder, whatever, anything, yep. anything. Come on, bro. You you making more headways now than you did when you was in the ring. Right. He, yeah, he put that proper 12 down, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stay in the stop. house. <laughs> yes. Like, stop, dude. Stop, for real, for real. And he got a big fight coming up next month. <laughs> right, right. Raptors hard, Grizzlies assistant Darko Rachovic or whatever. I know I messed that mm-hmm. up. Um, I don't, I'm, you know, it is what it is now. But like Mark and I did talk about it before yeah. that, you know, new person, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Give them a chance. At least give them a chance. See what they can do at first year because, you know, you only got two years <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> and you're lucky to have that. Because right. NBA, NBA is ruthless. Yes, they are. They cut you in a heartbeat. Point guard Van Fleet opts for free agency. I, you know what? I can't blame him. I can't blame him, man. I mean, he done won a championship there. He and did. you know, he, you know what he's probably doing? He's probably seeing what Brunson is doing for New York. It's probably like my game is kind of similar in a way. And I can I'm not as powerful. Do the yes. same thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of yeah, shocked. He's not, he's, he's not. He's not a bad guard. Oh no. No. At all, and then he he's he probably thinks himself out of the game. My time, sweating, te- blood, sweating, tears here. It's time for me to go somewhere else, man. You know, what I'm saying spread my wings, see right. if I can do it somewhere else. Because they can't be mad at him. He he did nah, his job for y'all, nah. right? He, he got a championship, right? With y'all, so you know, hey, this day hey, Van Fleet, I heard you, brother. I just right. you know, is this that like you said, like a lot of times, a lot of these uh, teams you don't see them on TV. Are they too late at night? Uh, you know, they're not the big market. Yep. And I mean, when I saw that, I was like, whoa. Oh, right. Okay. It's one of them. Like, okay, okay Toronto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're doing, Van Lee. <laughs> yeah. Your favorite Boy. player, Draymond Green, the client's option, becomes free agent. Let me tell you something. I don't know what he's thinking, who he's talking to, because he's got the same age as LeBron. Yep. You opt out of a twenty-seven million dollars, dude. No one else is giving you twenty-seven. 
and you decide to become a free agent, man, you tripping. I'm staying with Golden State. Let me take it 27. I'll take it 27. That's the only team that's going to pay him. Exactly. Like you said, why would, I mean, you, like you said, Clutch. Clutch Sports is at it again. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not, I, I mean, come on, dude. Because everybody, like, like, well, he can be a small, a small ball uh, 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 center. And I, what? Not everybody has those shooters. <laughs> like, like, go to it's state, like, right? Like go to state. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, yeah, you go ahead and be there for real. Go back <laughs> home to Detroit and try to do that, dude. That You're not going to be the same. Like, if I, you know, even though they got a new GM, you know, Myers left and, and Don Lever Jr. is the new GM. I got to yep, be yep. looking at him like, go ahead, bro. You got it. You good. Right. Do what you do. Because you would have had the 27. That would be a low ball. You're your 15. <laughs> he going to be crawling back, bro, because I can't see. I don't know who wants that. <laughs> For real. I don't know. I don't know. It's not the I'm same, not, bro. I'm not. Nah. No, it's not. Because what it is, is going to be a super team. He'll be in L.A. Well, the the crazy thing is this: I'm not leaving Golden State to carry leaves. Like you know, what I'm saying if he leaves, I'm, I'm going. I'm riding that coat. He, he ain't leaving Golden State. Right? Well, you know the crazy thing: even if he don't win another championship, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, I got four of them things. Carry gives you a, a great chance. A three of them things. They got okay. three. He got three right. He's got three. Yeah, they right? got three. Yep. Yeah, so I got three of them things with him. I'm not going nowhere. Not not, not until he says out, and then I then I got to fend for myself to try to be. Uh, oh, counseling. oh, 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 oh! Hold on, they might got four. They got four. They won the one without. They, I think they won the one without KD. Yep, and he got they two. Won the first them. one without them. Then they got two. They got then four. they got another one. They got four. Yep. They got four. <laughs> right? You know, I don't care if they got two. You better ride it with He's him to the you end. Did. Ride it with him. <laughs> Somebody's got their feelings hurt in this trade. Where's his trade? Brandy Bill to the Suns for Chris Paul and, and, and Shamit. Chris Paul has been on the circuit whining and crying that he wished that, that the Suns would have handled that better. What do you mean? You wasn't, I don't you, get it. Well, you, wasn't the big, you wasn't the big fish in this trade, brother. You wasn't the big fish. Right. It, it's Bill. Bill are what teams <laughs> want. They don't want you, Chris Paul. You 38 or whatever. He, what do you mean handle it? Like, he wanted the Suns to say, hey, where you want to? Man, it was, that's what, how it worked. Bill was the guy that people wanted. What is going on Listen, with Chris I'm Paul? Asking, I'm not a great ex. It's 37, 38-year-old man where you want to go. And every team that you done been to, you ain't produce. You are you are Peyton Manning. You are a Peyton Manning. You have been great in the regular season, but when the playoffs come, you disappear. You can't say Peyton, bro. You can't say Peyton. You gotta hey, get you somebody know, I else. Peyton, but I, I know you gotta say you gotta somebody, somebody else. else you gotta say somebody, somebody, somebody else. else because at least Peyton got one. I mean, two. Even though the yeah, second he, one was yeah. a defense, yeah, he got two. He got yeah. one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That, he reached he, it. He, reached he ain't it. he ain't getting nothing. <laughs> he ain't getting nothing. It's a wrap for him. It's, it's 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 a wrap for him. He's done. Like that's over with. Like he's not winning <laughs> the championship ever. And you know he probably wanted to go to L.A. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get get with the Most band. Definitely. Get with the band. And they was like, man, ain't nobody on the team we want. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna you know right. for what we trying to do. And 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 really, let me ask you this: You still need a point guard on that team. Right. right. Who's running? That ain't got one. Who is running point? Right. Like uh my man from Murray State, the little guard, I guess he's gonna run it. You <laughs> you better draft somebody. I don't even know if they got a draft pick. You better do something. I know free agents, you better go get Van Fleet or somebody like that. Because last time I checked, there's three uh machine guns on that team now. Bradley, you see it? Booker, and KD. Yep. Still ain't got a bench. Still in trouble. Still in trouble. <laughs> that, I mean, for real, they still in trouble, bro. That's, you got some shooters. Yeah. And then Washington. So how long before they cut uh, Chris Paul? Because that's what they're going to do. They uh, yeah, he, he's not He's not going to stay there. He, he most definitely is staying there. What, they, uh, what is that, uh, the buyout, the contract or whatever? 
Yep. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna stay there. No, sir. So you're gonna get the wonder. Go wonder where you need to be at or whatever, because you ain't gonna be there. They took it because they know they can get rid of that contract, kill it, whatever they need to do. Cause that's some hot yep. mess. That's a hot mess. Absolutely. Good luck with that one. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that that I mean, yeah, okay. All right, let's get into some NFL. Y'all know how we do. Even though the draft is Thursday, guys. The draft is Thursday, so we already know who's going number one. Wimby, he's uh, yeah. definitely going number one. I mean, if not, then it's a serious issue somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of serious issue, let's get to your favorite guy. Antonio Brown's team kicked out of Arena League. He was too busy <laughs> chastising the owners, calling them broke and all this kind of stuff, and – He's going to the big league. He ain't go. Can, can we go ahead and put a fork it. in him? Is he done? I mean, can we put a fork in yeah, him? Yeah, he's done. He should he should have been done with the incident at the pool, and then him recording his baby mama and all that stuff back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get and understand why he keep getting chance after chance after chance. I mean, yes, you bought, bought into that league. You wasn't paying your coaches. You weren't really doing anything. So I don't uh, – he's just – he's. I really do – I'm starting to think he do got that CTE, whatever whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I, I'm really starting to think he has it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, just, I really do because he, he, he's not here. Yeah, and uh, he's not there no more either. So good luck with that one. Good luck with that one. Patriots, Hopkins visit, but no, not in Harry to sign. Uh, Patriots fans is getting on super-duper hype. Um, we we love Hop Hop Town on this show, but to me, Hop Town is gonna start looking more like Larry Fitzgerald. You know, what I'm saying how he mm. shifted to the inside and more like a possession receiver with a big body, kind of yeah. like Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah. Remember when Keyshawn morphed into that? Like all those big receivers, they don't last a lot in the outside. Only very few. We know Randy Moss and stuff like that. Um. Calvin John stuff, you know, those type. But, you know, I see him more going more, being more slot. Yeah. Or he, or he's or you just got to throw it up because he don't have he doesn't have blazing speed. So, you know, that kind of stuff. Are you surprised that he hasn't found the team yet? I w eh, I'm kinda iffy on bo- I'm kinda iffy on both ends about it. And the only reason why I'm iffy on both ends about it is because of I know he can still be a great receiver. He can still mm-hmm. be a good receiver, but at the same time, his asking price is probably too much. Right. Got to come down. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what it is. I think it's the asking price that's what it is. It's keeping him from being signed. And it's like you getting up in age, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to take what you get at this right. point of time. Right. So we shall see. We shall see. But somebody's going to eventually get him. Oh, yeah. And they're going to get him for the low. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they are getting him for the low. They basically still in that because he's gone. Yeah, somebody's gonna sign him. Um, I don't know if you noticed, know but you know, okay, Giants running back Mark is sitting holding out over contract. Yeah. So now all the young running backs are coming out and trying to u- unite to say that hey, we don't understand why we don't get paid big money. The asking price is only ten million dollars. You know, you know, with Pollard and somebody else, they only got ten million, and we deserve more money, and yada 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 yada. And I get I it, guys. I get it. Yep. I mean, you guys, you know, you only got three to five years in the league. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so now let's drive it up. But the thing about it is, you don't you don't set the market. You know what I'm saying? I, I I get what you're saying because I to, I totally agree with everything you're saying. But the crazy thing about it is what they got to realize with Barkley, yeah, Barkley. What was it, his first two years? He went crazy. Then he tore his knee up. Tore it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he came back and he uh, progressed it. He came back and had a good year. But it's a running back, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a running back. People are scared of that. Right. I mean, you get you been getting beat up your whole life. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying. I mean, yes, when you get to the league, I would do. I would try to get paid, absolutely. But it's almost like you're going to have to stay healthy through that rookie contract in order for you to get that big second deal. Yeah, and you better get all signing bonus. You better get guaranteed. 
You better hold out. Everything, yeah. Guarantee, because otherwise it's the rap. We 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 don't see that too many times. That don't that's not that don't hold water. When you have like King Henry and them not getting paid like they deserve, what makes you think you gonna get it? Right. Yeah, right. Come on. I mean that that speaks volume right there. And Harry been doing this for a minute, <laughs> balling away. He's and they still through. like, okay, well, we gonna do, we got you, we got you. <laughs> right, got one good contract. He ain't got another one. <laughs> right, and not gonna get one. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that's his, that's the name. That position, like you know, takes a pounding. Yeah, and the crazy thing about it with that position is almost like you need to start looking into endorsements. Yeah, you better early in your career. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I know he is. I mean, I know New York is taking care of Barkley. You know what I'm saying? You need to go yeah. ahead and, and and nickel and damn them to death, basically, bro. Oh, you need absolutely. to go ahead. Do like grunt. I might get in there. Don't spend your uh, game checks. You know what I'm saying? Save right. that stuff. Save that stuff. But I get it. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I get it. What's going on with this one? Oh, yeah. I, I ain't get to talk about this, I don't think. Former Louisville quarterback Cunningham taking wide receiver reps. And I might have got it on this one. I don't know. But that's, it's still always great to bring this up. Now, very, very smart. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you're going to be Edelman. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like them. You're going to be like Edelman and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you're shifty. Like, that's the proposition you should have been playing anyway in Louisville. Mm-hmm. So, that right there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Because, yeah, he'll run some packages on goal line and let you do that kind of stuff. But in order for you to make that team, you're going to have to do some other than playing quarterback because you ain't going to take a lot of snaps as a quarterback. So uh, I hear you. Patriots, you know, Patriots don't care, man. They'll turn you. I don't care what you are. That's right. Hey, you got to get it how you get it, brother. Yeah, get it make the team. Feel, man, at this point. <laughs> yeah, make the team. Do what you got to right. do. Do kick That's off return. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that one. <clears throat> right. They, they did give him pretty penny to uh, come there for free mm-hmm. agency. So, hey, good luck with that one. Now, this was a big uproar last week. Diggs yeah. wasn't going to come. Then he came to minicamp, but he's not happy. He's not happy because they said he took a he reconstructed his contract to get help get Hopkins. They haven't got Hopkins. All this kind of stuff. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. He's going to be mm-hmm. out of Buffalo. I just think he wants out of Buffalo, period. Yeah. He, uh, the crazy thing about he, yeah, he most definitely went out of Buffalo because, I mean, you go back and look at certain situations. He's probably still mad about a lot of stuff from last year. And then on top of that, with the Hopkins things, it didn't make it no better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if Diggs is your number one dog, why in certain situations you passing to somebody else? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. He's playing with Josh Allen. They praised him. He's on the mat in 24, whatever. Diggs will be out there. Diggs is gone. Let's say it, bro. Let's say it. Open arms, baby. You know where to go at. Open <laughs> arms. We give you we give you a Michael Gallup for him. <clears throat> Take him and whatever else. We go ahead. Go ahead and go. We you good. You know, we all that kind of stuff. Um, one said note. Ray Lewis III, son of mm-hmm. Ray's legend, died of suspected overdose. Uh, hate to see that. Um, Absolutely. Big time. You know, for anybody, you know, the stuff is real, man. People are overdosing. You got to watch what you put in your body and watch yeah. what amount you put in your body. So, mm-hmm. you know, different things is out there that is not good for you. So, right. Uh, hate that, uh, that that happened for him big time. Right. Without a doubt. We out of here, man. We out of here. Thank yes, you sir. guys. And we got a we got a we got a special guest tomorrow for you guys. Uh somebody from the ridge. <laughs> somebody from the ridge decided he wants to come on the show and you know want everybody to get to know him. So we're gonna go ahead and have him on the show tomorrow. Uh it is what it is. Y'all know we keep rocking and rolling. Thank yes, y'all sir. for joining us through technical technical difficulties and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. And let me give you one <laughs> let me give you one more advice. If you see one poll on Twitter, it's, believe me, it's several more. This right. go on our this go on our page. Please. That's all. God bless y'all. Peace. Be safe.
Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. Mark and Wheel, yeah, yeah. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own the go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know.